and welcome the next um, uh, speaker, Dr. Peter uh, Rego, who is the CEO and founder of Flowscape. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. So, um, Dr. Peter. Yes. I, yes, please. Um, um, your, your, please start your presentation. Thank you. Uh, shall I start to talk as well, or? Yes, please. Okay. Good. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Peter Ego. I'm the CEO and founder of Flowscape. Flowscape is a public Swedish company uh, listed on, on one of the stock markets in Sweden. And we are one of the leading smart office solution providers. And what is our area in this prop tech world? Uh, you have probably seen this model from JLL, which is called 33300 rule. Uh, and what that says is that the, the labor cost for the people working in the building or in the office is $300 per square foot. If you look at the rent of the office is $30 per square foot and the maintenance and ventilation and the electricity for the building is free. So here you see the scale of different costs uh, for uh, running a building and Flowskip has focused on the two largest parts here. And so one part of what we're doing is to try to make it more efficient to work in modern offices. And I will come back what that means. But what we hear from our customers is that they save five, uh, 15 minutes per day by uh, having our, uh, our solution. And that is equivalent to 300 million US dollars per year for a company with 1,000 employees. And we also work with reducing, helping our customers to reduce the office space and that is very, very interesting now when we move back after the pandemic with this hybrid world when uh, people uh, will continue to work from home some days a week and some days in office. And many, many companies start to see how they can reduce the office space by introducing shared, uh, off, uh, shared uh, desks. And there we can help uh, our clients to reduce 30% uh, of the office space with our tool. So it equals the same amount of money. So exactly what do we do? So we have first one part which is focusing on the efficiency of the people working in the office. And there we have a, a very smart way of booking rooms where you see them very, very easily on an office map uh, and you can book it uh, very fast by clicking on the map or the tool also helps you to find rooms of uh, the right size and right equipment. And we also have uh, tools that we work on uh, where we use overbooking or meeting rooms. So you, like you have an airplane, you check in, when you check into the office, you get the room. So then we can overbook meeting rooms. Uh, we have a desk booking solution, which is uh, also very much requested now in this hybrid world, because uh, when people reduce the office space, uh, they want uh, the employees to book their desk when they come in. And it also helps them to book them, book desks together so they can sit together. But we also have a sensor-based desk management system where uh, you can see it on the map if a, a desk is used in real time as well. Uh, we have a colleague find a uh, uh, functionality where you can either find where uh, one person is sitting or we're also using indoor positioning to so you can locate people where they, wherever they are in the office, but it's also possible to make yourself invisible. So it's up to the users if they want to share their location or not. We have a visitor management system. Uh, you can find equipment and we also have a communication tool like a, an advanced WhatsApp where if something happens in the office, you can push out a notification to tell everyone to evacuate the building. And you can also get a list of the people that are still in the building. And the same communication tool can be used for just uh, not so critical uh, uh, information like uh, your, uh, your service, the elevators, or you have an after work at, at uh, six o'clock or five o'clock or something. And uh, we uh, sell this as a complete system with both software and hardware. Uh, so the, the clients can have a kiosk screen showing the whole office in real time. They can have a mobile apps. They can have a plugin for Outlook. 
screens outside the meeting rooms or a web app that can be accessed from the laptop or any tablet. And we also have a portfolio of different sensors for meeting rooms and desks and open areas, coffee corners and things like that. But also lights indicating the status of different things in the office and also indoor positioning systems. Uh, what is the USPs for Flowskip then in the market? Here I have listed uh, the main competitors in the two main markets that we're active in at the moment. So we're active in Europe and in US. And the USPs we hear from the market is the same in both uh, Europe and US. We hear from everyone that we present our solution for is that we have the best user interface in the market. And especially the map, uh, which is very alive, very responsive, so that it, it's very looking like, like you're a real office. So there we get a lot of uh, credits for. Uh, we're one of the few suppliers in the market that can supply a whole system with both software and hardware. And we have done that for many, many years uh, for large uh, customers like Ericsson, for example. We have uh, sold this uh, system to 30, uh, 35 countries for them, 100 offices. And uh, we have one, we, we were one of the first into the market 2016. So. Uh, no, 2014. Uh, so now we, we still have uh, driven the market with new innovations and we have one of the most innovative solutions in the market. With, uh, for example, we have a desk dongle that replaces uh, sensors that is much smarter and cheaper and gives more functions than, than a normal sensor. So how, what is the business model then? Uh, Remember what I said, the return of investment is uh, $3 million for a 1,000 company, uh, 1,000 employee company. That's equivalent to 6,000 per employee. If you both look at the time saved and the, the space saved. So we sell this as a hardware where you pay a one-time fee, and then you have a software where you pay a yearly fee. So we sell, for example, room panels. That is one very simple solution. Uh, we sell the whole room booking system as an add-on. Uh, in this system, you have uh, options like uh, this busy light for rooms. You have sensors in rooms. You have the desk management solution where you have options with the, uh, the light, for example. And we also sell for customers that just want to analyze the utilization in their office, we sell, we lease sensors. So they can buy the sensor on lease, including the software for this amount to measure the utilization they have in the office to take further decisions if they're gonna move into flexible seating and things like that. All those packages include, oh, sorry, include the workplace analytics, but the workplace analytics can be, be sold as a standalone as well. We have this building message uh, solution with crisis communication, and we have this parking management solution as well. Uh, what we see a lot of requests from at the moment is this desk management solution in this new hybrid world, which is uh, quite similar requirements, both from US and from Europe, where, the, where people want to, to find solutions on this, who's gonna be in the office which day, how can we secure that we sit together, how much space do we really need now after the pandemic? So that is a short introduction of Flowscape. I didn't time it, but maybe Excellent. seven. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. So um, uh, thank you very much for the uh, Flowscape um, uh, introduction. They're very interesting indeed, um, especially since, you know, um, I think many companies will be looking for that kind of solution now that we're coming out of the crisis. Um, any suggestions or comments, please? Uh, I can start. Uh, thank you for a great presentation, Peter. And uh, it was very nice to listen to you. Uh, I think it was like four years ago, I actually had a startup uh, working with similar idea as you. So I've, I've been looking into your case, but it was several years ago. So really nice to hear, hear uh, like the status now and what you're up to. 
So my first uh, thoughts are, you are a listed company, so you uh, are supposed to make more and more money. So how is your growth plan? What do you have for, what's your plan for uh, new markets or to grow your business? So at the moment we have offices in Sweden, Bulgaria, London and uh, in San Francisco. So our growth plan is to expand in US with more offices, also open an office in uh, Germany. And we see that there are larger players in US, but there are not yet any really large player in this market in, U uh, in Europe. And our goal is to be the large player in Europe. So uh, except from uh, organic growth to uh, expand with more and more offices, we will uh, we have plans to acquire companies uh, during next year and the year after. So our target is uh, uh, now we are 25 people. We have, have a revenue around uh, uh, 35, uh, uh, 3.5 million euros. We're going to pass uh, 10 million euros next year is our target. Nice. Thank you. Uh, very nice presentation. Uh, thank you for that. Um, I have a, just a quick question here. It seems that with the uh, we have been living with COVID for almost two years, and then company have already adopted to um, to the mindset that people don't need to come to office to work. Um, and my company is rather empty now. Um, uh, do you think that's going to be impacting what you're doing? And if yes, uh, what, what, what is your plan um, towards it? Thank you. We see, uh, for us, it has been like many other companies, it, during the pandemic, it has not been positive for our growth plans, but we have at least managed to grow. I think we grew last year 18%. So it, it's uh, fairly good, but not as we expected. Uh, we see uh, the pandemic as a driver for totally new behavior in the offices. Like you said, at least in Europe and US, we, we see several surveys, uh, both among leaders and with employees, saying that employees like to continue to work two to three week, uh, days a week at home. And leaders also see that this is, this is fine for them because they have seen that they are efficient working from home and some tasks are even better to do from home. So what this will drive very fast now, we think that just from a mathematical point of view, if you work half week from home, you, you get 50% utilization of your office. And even before the pandemic, the utilization was not 100%. So we will run up with like 30% utilization after the pandemic. And then we get two problems. One is that the office gets uh, uh, have very low energy because it's uh, too few people there. And it's also not reasonable to have uh, an office that is that empty. So all the leaders we think are going to move into a flexible seating and start to re reduce space. And we see that in almost every company that we work with uh, have that in their plans. But some are moving fast now, doing it now because the lease contract running out. And I think some will do it uh, in one year or two years or something. So this will drive flexible, uh, flexible workplace. And it also is good for our business because with this flexible workplace, with uh, just maybe 50% desk compared to the number of employees, you need to introduce desk booking and other solutions to make it work. So it was a long answer, sorry. I got another question kind of on the same theme. Um, as you say, as we are coming back from the pandemic and going back into the offices, there is one good thing about having a large office is that you're not too crowded. You get your own space. You're not too many people in meeting rooms and so on. Um, so you have the bo both sides, right? So my, my, my tr real question is, how can your technology help making the offices COVID safe? We talk a lot about that within my company today, how to make the offices COVID safe. Yeah, and that was a, a large drive last summer and it still is, uh, is uh, quite much requested. And the solution we have for that is that you can block every other desk. So you keep the social distancing. 
you can also maximize the capacity of the office. So you can say that we only let 25% of the staff in, then we block, you cannot book any more desks. And we also have solutions where you can get a list of all the used desks in the evening. So you can use alcohol to, to disinfect them. And you can also trace who has been in the office. If you get some infection, you can backtrace who, who can, uh, who, who, who might get infected. So, so tell them to stay at home a couple of days. So those kinds of solutions we already have. And that was a, a large drive last summer when a lot of offices started to open up, especially in UK. Peter, what, uh, what makes you different, uh, differentiate from the others? Uh, it's what, uh, what I said, is that we work quite early into the market. So we have uh, a couple of solutions within our uh, portfolio that is, is quite unique, that stands out. It's uh, the look and feel and the user experience is outstanding compared to all the, uh, the competitors. And uh, we can also deliver a complete solution with both software and hardware and take responsibility for everything. Many of our competitors, they only deliver software and they say that the client, uh, they, they point to some supplier. You can buy the sensors from here, but then no one takes the full responsibility. Okay, any more questions? So uh, a question from my side, or maybe a question to my, my colleagues there. Um, uh, Peter, thanks again for a very great presentation. And uh, as you know, I know your company uh, pretty well. Uh, you mentioned about the focus on Europe and, and the US, North, North America. Uh, we have uh, people here from, from Thailand. So I, I was a little bit curious about sort of, uh, I know that you, you, you have clients also in Asia, and including Australia and so on, but uh, from from the Thai representatives here, uh, what's your view on sort of the office market? I mean, uh, you are based in in Bangkok, uh, most of you, etc. Uh, so, because this session is about sort of asking question, but also to perhaps to support and guide uh, the company's pitching. So, any of of the the, the commentators here from Thailand who would like to share the thoughts and strategies that might help and support a flowscape for potential expansion into that area or region? Yeah, I, I think I can share uh, some, uh, some model out here. Uh, I've done that before uh, at Oracle. Um, so, so I think out here, uh, I guess the channel model will be quite important. Um, and uh, you will probably will need to look at finding the right uh, business partner because you, you will be a second tier. So there, there will be a first tier. You'll be working with the SI, uh, local SI here. Uh, and, and I think there are a number of uh, SI, uh, systems integrator, sorry, a uh, number of systems integrator and number of uh, value added reseller that are in uh, this kind of space that I think can help you expand the market out here. There are a number of uh, large systems integrator and IT companies out here that uh, would be very much welcome as uh, solutions like yours. Yeah. And we're that, that we usually use uh, with a mixed model with direct sales to some large companies, but also channel sales to mid sized and smaller companies. Yeah. Do you see a question to you? Do you see this uh, hybrid uh, working also uh, being a trend in Thailand where people want to work from home two to three days a week? Uh, a week? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think uh, the trend is there. Uh, I mean, the, the solutions, uh, there are a number of solutions that are quite similar to what you're doing. Uh, a lot of them has to do with a wayfinding. A lot of them have to do with using iBeacon, for example, as a technologies. Um, and there's also office automation tools, you know, doing appointment, doing the, uh, the, uh, the room booking, for example. Uh, so it's sort of a number of a piecemeal. Uh, but I think you, you rightly said, you know, the, uh, the user interface, the user experience, the total solutions would be quite important. And in fact, uh, your solutions can be adapted to a number of uh, circumstances, for example, 
for safety reasons, for example. Uh, you can also uh, use it for workplace uh, environment. You can also, uh, there are a number of, I think, potentials for solutions that you have, not just only what you have presented uh, just now. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Just, just Thank you there, very much. I mean, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, we're running out of time for this session. Uh, so I'm very sorry about interrupting uh, the very interesting uh, discussions. Uh, there will be, of course, opportunities to reconnect like after the, the session. So uh, thank you very much again to um, uh, Dr. Peter and all the commentators. Mm -hmm.